Hello, and welcome to my virtual poster presentation on scalable material simulations in the Julia infrastructure. My name is Jeremiah DeGrieff, and this work is part of my undergraduate research with MIT's Center for the Exascale Simulation of Materials Interfaces in Extreme Environments, or SESMIX. The problem we're ultimately trying to solve is the prediction of the movement and interaction of atoms and molecules. This is a type of physical simulation called molecular dynamics. To do this, we need to know what forces act on each individual atom or molecule. So we use techniques from density functional theory to estimate the solutions to complex quantum mechanical equations. We can also use other results, such as empirical and machine learning based uh, nuclear potentials to estimate these quantum mechanical interactions with different computational and physical trade-offs. It's super important to point out the scale of these simulations. We wanna be able to perform these calculations on extremely large systems of atoms and molecules. To do that, we need our code to be highly performant and to be able to run in parallel on supercomputer clusters. We also want to be able to quantify the uncertainty of our results throughout all of the different components in the simulation. So this problem is complex, involves many scientific disciplines. The primary challenge that I'm trying to solve is the integration and orchestration of these software components. So what problems exist with the current solutions? Well, there's often a steep learning curve as many of the existing codes basically define a whole new programming language for the molecular dynamics that is unique to that particular code. Also, the choices of unit conventions vary widely between the codes and scientific communities who have researched the topics. So it's often very challenging to get all the pieces of software to work well together. Lastly, these legacy codes often are often outdated and poorly maintained. So they're very hard to extend and interface with. So what is our solution to these problems? Quite simply, an end-to-end -end pipeline in Julia. Julia is an intuitive, high-level language. So doing molecular dynamics in Julia won't require you to learn a whole new set of semantics. Using the unitful.jl package, uh, we have a very elegant way to enforce unit consistency. This removes the burden from the end user of the software. And perhaps most importantly, we can utilize multiple dispatch to easily swap in different modules. For example, this allows us to perform automatic differentiation for invasive uncertainty quantification and to easily extend the software with new nuclear potential models as they're developed. Julia is also a natural choice for our high performance needs, as we can use the GPU support to parallelize our simulations for high performance benefits. So uh, here are some of the major components that our team is currently working with. We have nBody simulator for the dynamic simulations, dftk.jl for dft calculations, mdp.jl, which provides a library of various nuclear potentials, and lastly, seismics.jl, which is a component that I'm developing personally. This integrates all the other components into a unified frame. These components are all still in various stages of development, and we plan to add more to the ecosystem in the coming months. You can find links to all these repositories in the description of this talk if you're interested to learn more. So thank you for listening to my virtual cluster presentation. I look forward to doing some Q&A, and my contact information is on the slide if you want to get in touch with me.